Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Today I got a uh, I got an HD radio here, Sony XDR S3 HD, and it has a problem. It doesn't pick up any uh, any stations at all. AM, FM, HD. The only thing that works is the uh, the line in. So what I'm going to be doing today is taking it apart, and I'm going to be piecing it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to make a video so you how to take it apart, in case you have to take yours apart for some reason. You know, there's a couple steps you got to do. And uh, this one came with a remote. So I'm going to sell that too. And it still works, as you can see here. I'll turn it on. It, but... What it does is it keeps saying, wait, wait, wait. See it. Nothing ever comes on. Even if I, like, hit band, change bands, I still get nothing. So if I tune it, see? Nothing. I know it needs an antenna, but when you put the antenna on, it doesn't activate or, uh, doesn't think it has an antenna. Everything's. I've checked this out a couple of times and it's just not going to work. So I'm going to take it apart and piece it out since it is in really good condition. Like this cover is really in really good shape. So that'll. Somebody will buy that. It has no. None of the corners are ripped. The case, even though it has a couple surface scratches, most of the corners aren't nicked up like they get. You know, a lot of these the corners all get nicked up, so maybe somebody will want to buy that. I'm going to sell the power supply. That's this here. It's got like a six foot cord on each end of it. So that's pretty nice. Somebody will want that power supply for sure. And so let's get started. I'm going to shut it off here. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button. I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to go unplug it. And we'll be ready to get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this cover. So I don't want to damage it anymore. Or, you know, by accident. So I just remove it. It just pops into these holes here. So it just slides in there. So we're going to get rid of that. Get it out of the way. You can see how I said it, all the corners are good on it. If somebody wants that, I'm going to have it on eBay soon. Okay, so now we got to look on the bottom. To get started taking this apart, we're going to take it off, take off the bottom. Four screws here, we're going to remove this fan assembly. Get my uh, trusty screwdriver out. Set it to reverse. This is the fan that keeps it cool. Yeah, I've taken a couple of these apart. I have another one upstairs that I took apart and got it to work. This one I bought, I wasn't able to get it to work like I got the other one to work, so that's why I'm going to part it out. I just lost the screw. We'll get that in a minute. Alright, so what we gotta do here is we gotta unplug the fan like that. So that's the fan assembly. You can see there's hardly any dust on it. Keeps the uh, whole unit cool. Put that aside. Maybe somebody will buy that too. Uh, let me pause for a second. Okay, moving on. Now that we got that loose, what we got to do is come back around to the front, and we got a bunch of screws to take out in the front. And start at the bottom here. Let's move it up closer. Oops.
all these screws are the same. I think that's it. I think that's it. That oh, feels like one more. One more. Right here. Alright. Now, the front's going to come forward. And you can see inside here. We have some ribbon cables, they got to come out, so very gently we're going to unplug the ribbon cable, and now we have to unplug this cable here. Clips up. That cuts these wires loose from the pack. So we gotta do the same thing here. Let me get my hook. So we can unhook. See they unhook like that. Seeing how they go. These three on that side. These three on that side. So now this part is loose. I'm probably going to sell this as a as a whole unit. The uh, there's nothing wrong with this display as you saw in the video. So and uh, this is the same display they use on uh, XM radios, satellite radios. So if you ever seen that, it's the same display. So uh, basically somebody would just have to unscrew it and hook it up, I believe. That might be on my scope, but yeah. So we're going to put that aside. Okay, now we're working towards getting the... Uh, power supply unhooked. So we're going to unhook these wires here. Oh, we got to undo this ribbon cable to get it out of our way. Now you can see there's three wires on each side. That's for the speakers. These three are for the uh, top piece there. Okay, so now all right, it's still not loose. I think we have to unscrew from the back now. Unscrew right here. screw on the floor. I gotta put my magnet on. Alright, that's a different screw than the air rest of them. Well, it's plain to see. So that's the one that goes in the back. And you can see this uh, cord is loose here. I think maybe we have to undo that. 
Yeah, we gotta undo this uh, screw here. Yeah. Okay, one minute. Okay, so the next thing, this don't get unscrewed, I don't believe. The next thing we gotta do is uh we gotta do undo these four screws on the bottom. Still no magnet. I guess I'm thick headed. Back it up a little bit. Alright, these look like the same screws that held the fan in. So we'll put them over there with the fan. All these screws. Except for that one, that's for the back, so we'll put that with the back screws. And these screws hold the front. Okay, so now we should be loose. Yep. Now we're loose. So what we gotta do is slide this slide this unit out. Push the push the cable through while you do that. Like that. Careful not to catch nothing. I'm hanging up on something here. The wires out of the way. These wires out of the way. Oh, I got two more. Two more wires to undo. I think these might be the actual speaker wires, not the ones I mentioned before. So we gotta undo these too. Okay. So now it should come forward easier. Of course my cable's a little twisted in the back. See it comes right out. Speaker wires and everything stays to the side here. I'm gonna wonder about if I want to take that apart or not. You can see I have my uh, power supply here. If I want, I want to disconnect that so I could sell it. So I'm gonna unhook this. I got three wires to do. I'm probably going to unsolder them. So uh, I'm going to pause the video right here and I'll be right back with the soldering iron. Okay, I started unsoldering the wires. Got one off. I'm going to go for the second black one here. There goes that one. Ground in the middle. Let's get the ground off. There we go. Now I can get my uh, power supply out of the way. Not sure if anybody's going to want this uh, set up here. I did burn the plastic a little there. This will be called, I guess, the tuner section. And it has its problems, I'm not going to lie. Here's the back where the antenna goes in. And to take this apart and fix it, you really got to be patient. You know, you got to undo all these wires. And that's not for me. So I'm going to put this on eBay as well. Set that back there. 
Now I can get my power supply out of here, out of this box, right here. Hope it fits. Supplies out. Now, yeah. as far as the speakers go, looks like they just poked them through that hole there. I think we could take them out. And this piece here, I'm gonna have to see how I got to get that out. Anyway, that's how you take apart the main section of your Sony XDR. S3 HD. If anybody wants the parts from some of these, I'm going to uh, put them on eBay. I'll probably do a second video taking the rest of this apart. But for now, this is the uh, main, main things that you take apart on your Sony. So... Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to uh, check it out if you want to buy these on eBay. Thanks for watching.